recent months, fire crews have rushed to the scenes of four different gas explosions across Grand Cayman. These explosions have left several individuals injured and properties damaged. That's why the Cayman Islands Fire Services, Planning Department and Home Gas Limited are launching a safety campaign. Propane safety is the responsibility of every individual that's using propane, whether it's for cooking or other applications. And this campaign, the Cook Smart Safety First campaign, is to ensure that each person is aware of how to use LP gas, liquid propane gas, safely. This combined effort between the building control unit, the fire department, and home gas is also to educate the persons that sell these appliances and sell um, the tanks, whether they're gas stations or home improvement stores, that the safe installations is extremely important for the general public and they do have a part to play as well. Using propane wisely and safely can be a matter of life or death. This video from the U.S. National Fire Protection Association shows a controlled explosion ignited for a safety training video for firefighters. Although explosions of this magnitude haven't happened here, incorrect propane use could have tragic results. Well, if you get a gas leak inside there, okay, and that's it in the, or that gas explodes, it can take a whole building down, okay, and not only your building, it can also damage the adjacent um, buildings too, you know. And not only you that's in the building, it could be surrounding neighbors, people in the rooms next door, which we have had happen before. You know, all sorts of things can go wrong, you know. It, it, it's unlimited what can take place. The worst thing that could happen to somebody who has, a, has done the installation themselves and it's incorrect is death. I mean, I mean there's no easy way to put it. Uh, in the last, uh, since January, there's been four incidents here in Cayman that have sent people to the hospital because they have taken this installation into their own hands and it was done incorrectly. Um, we've had several of them that lack of knowledge how to use the appliance. You know, we're not born with that knowledge. It's something that we have to be taught, we have to be learned. Again, don't be afraid to ask the questions. But if you're going to undertake this job to do the installation, call us. Free inspection. You know, I don't want anybody to feel that they can't do this by themselves, although it's, it's best to have a certified installer. But if you have done it, call us. We'll inspect it. We'll tell you what you've done wrong help you correct it and we can move on. So what can you do to make sure you're using propane properly? First, check in with the building control unit at the planning department. What we look for on an application is to ensure that the line sizes are correct, the BTU of each appliance is also correct, and that the locations of the tanks are in the correct place based on the National Fire Protection Standards as well as the International Fuel Gas Code. You can connect the cylinder yourself or get a professional to do the job for you. Gas cylinders by code is required to be stored on the exterior of the building, always outdoors, never indoors. They are required to be at least, I mean, at least five feet away from any possible source of ignition and five feet away from any exhaust fans or vents or any openings like doors or crawl spaces, anything like that. Find a safe place outdoors that you can anchor it to, whether it be a, a tree, a post, something that's fixed permanently that people can't pick it up and take it away, it can't blow away, but it's also in a safe location that's not going to cause damage in a storm. The proper way, or the safe way if you want to call it, to connect a 20 pound cylinder would be to make sure that the cylinder and the appliance you're going to use are outside. First, check the cylinder valve to make sure that it is free of all obstructions. Secondly, check to make sure that you have a proper POL fitting that's on your appliance that would connect to the POL valve on your 20 pound cylinder. The proper way to check for a leak would be with a mild soapy solution, one that does not contain ammonia. You go get a little Dawn dish detergent, non-ammonia, uh, mix it with water, you want about a 2% uh, solution, spray it onto the suspected leak, and obviously if there's a leak it's going to bubble up and show itself. But it's very important that when you do grab a detergent that you do not have one uh, that contains ammonia because it can have adverse effects on the brass. Over time, the ammonia will work against the, the chemical composition of the brass and it will actually split or crack and be, uh, cause it to fail down the road. Propane is extremely safe if used properly, and, and the key word is if used properly. All of our lives we're taught how to use things and how to do things. Propane is no different. If you follow the codes, follow the rules, it's actually safer than putting gas in your car. Improper use of propane tanks is not only unsafe, it's also illegal. You can face a fine of up to $6,000. The campaign aims to prevent this from happening.